How's it going ladies and bruises, I'm Bobby Six and welcome back to I, the Somnium Files. It's time for us to continue our investigation. I think we must be getting close to the end here. We're heading back to the Abyss Headquarters. The end, there's in this ending, not not the end end. We still gotta figure out what's going down. Something to do with the boss, I'm sure of it. We're getting a little bit more information every single time. Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Okay. About Mayumi. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. Correct. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. But... She won't remember. She might not remember. Correct. About Sar. There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. He got killed last time. I agree, but there has to be more to it. He might get killed again. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. Yep. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because so appeared in Iris's Somnium? Correct. Yeah. That's that's a link, right? Come on. We have more about so. I'm more interested in the hired guns that so uses as bodyguards. Why? I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, the Kuza gangs pale in comparison. Is so trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. Uh, about Mizuki? Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Yep. Hmm. Still, something's not right. Like everything? Any other information? There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Yeah. Fingerprints were found on it. Ooh. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. Okay. What? Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called 8s. 8 is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Okay. Hold on a second. What are you saying? I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Yeah. <laughs> Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Why though? Well... Who is it, boss? Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. Should we go hit him up? He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. Is she gonna try and snuff him out before we get there? So he doesn't talk. Who knows? Could be. How are you feeling, Ota? You dipshit. You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. Alright, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? 
Boss got right to business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Oda seemed almost happy to answer. Maybe it was the drugs. Maybe it was the high from surviving a life or, life or death situation. Or maybe it was because he saved Iris. Yeah, sure. About the walk. Oh yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was... I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. If you, if you hadn't done that, Iris wouldn't have lost an eye. Chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. Who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Oh, no shit. Thanks for that, Captain Obvious. About that thing on Nile. That's... <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is going to come crashing down. <sighs> but I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. Go on then, dipshit. Hurry up. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. For Ranger. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because something happened after. Something? This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Yeah, of course I do. She said to us she didn't. Not have one. Yeah. You don't have a license? Shh. Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. Saturday Anymore? at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Oto witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? Is Renju alive at that point? This is sounding really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. Good point, she didn't do it herself. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? 
What happened, uh, happened after you left Matsushita Diner? You mean after? Sorry, I'm getting dry. <laughs> hitting you with the walk? <laughs> yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. Oh, to help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could. Someone took the, the van. was driving away. So you stole that I other car. I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on. Okay, that makes sense. The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. That's something. After stealing the station wagon? I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police? I thought after I hit you. You shouldn't have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. So you could track it. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Yep. After running into the warehouse? Did you see me turn off the saw? Yep. Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear. And I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up. And then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Should we do the Odoroki Man chocolate? I suppose we should. I took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed it to Oda. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Yep. Absolutely. The identity of the polar bear. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Thermograph? Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? He's trying to protect his mother, isn't he? Date, Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. Caution? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? What the hell? I don't believe it. He's gonna stab us? He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. Kick his fucking ass. I know. <laughs> That's what I would have done yonks ago. <clears throat> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. Take the knife away. That would be cool. You can still get information. Sync with him. Inside his head. What the fuck is wrong with everybody around here? Oh, Alright, come on then. I'm not sure we got time for this, but we'll try. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do not go over it. You tell me that every time. Won't be a problem. But are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But it's fine. Just get it done. That's our job. Good enough for me. Let's do it. the hell? We're in a box. Why are we in a box? Can you please take me with you? As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. No, oh, we're here. Is this a cold storage warehouse? Yes. It seems to be. Not a manga cafe? Or an otaku shop? No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live-action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. And? Let's see. By the way, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's... The polar bear. Iris is about to be. Yes. Stop right there. The heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar. All calling on me to strike back against evil. Hold on, Tessa. I will save you. Please go away. I will protect Tessa. Uh. Is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. Yeah. All right. Let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan. Activate. Here we go. This is probably going to be tricky. Polar Bear of Doom! Oh my god. How are you the mental lock? Reproduce the fiery battle between Oda and the Polar Bear. Save Iris, save the world. Oh my god. Curse you, Polar Bear! I will vanquish you! I think this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. Third. Damn it! I don't even know. <laughs> if I go and make that, I'll have nothing to show for it. All of it amounts to nothing. What will I do? I don't know what that was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. <laughs> we need to get rid of the icy floor somehow. Secure the route. The ice on the floor is slick. Punch? That's gonna be very time consuming. Let's see what else we got. Maybe the forklift? Hang on, let's look at that map. Heated insulation door. I'm not sure we can use that, but uh, that would be cool if we could. Let's try the forklift. Sorty? What does that mean? My god, they're so costly in time. Alright, we'll try the heated insulation door. Why does everything take so much goddamn time? I don't like that. The door. Open. It 
won't open. We need to do something inside the warehouse first. Maybe we will need the forklift. Smash the forklift through it. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. That took two minutes? Bloody hell. Well, we're not going to su succeed on this one the first attempt. No way. Let's go sorty. What? Sorty? This is Ota's world, right? Your role in this dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Lousy Ota. Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual has been destroyed. Totally. All systems green. Synchronization rate, 6%. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift. Sorty! Damn, I was hoping to transform into a giant robot. What happened? It has reversed in time. I don't think this ending is acceptable. We're forgetting something. Right. I had a feeling. Something to do with these shelves? That's not really an option though, is it? Okay, we're gonna run out of time before we break mental lock one. A forklift. Whatever, let's just see what happens. Let's try a few different things. Here what have we got to lose? Go. Ugh, no good. Guess there's nothing we can do. Cars are meant to be driven, right? Yeah. What do we need to do first? Let's try the ice cutting machine, I guess. This is not going to work well at all. A machine used for cutting ice. Move. I can't do that with this body. I don't think it would even matter. I think it might be hopeless. The ice on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Let's try punching the floor, I guess. This is for Dante. This is for Dante. This is for Dante. What did the ice do to me? Oh, that worked. Those who don't fight won't survive. We should have done that earlier. Okay. Punch floor. Got it. Oh, there is a choice. Holy shit. I did not expect that. In this late stage of the game, I did not expect it. Damn! He's too strong! It sucks! But this is war after all! What's the plan? Yeah. Victory be yours! It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Escort him to the green shelf, escort him to the red shelf. Red shelf. Yeah? Attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. Breathe on, I guess. I don't know. It's all very convoluted. D. Yeah, D's don't really do it for me. They have to be at least an F. There is no end to your desire. Well, I'm back to work. There seems to be nothing here. Well, the red shelf doesn't even look like a thing. A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. Well, this is definitely the green shelf. But then, something strange happened. What's happening? Oh, that's 
right. What is this? That's Mayumi's knife. That was Mayumi's floral knife. If this was another, I would have died already. Next time, he will get me. That's just destiny. The letter A on the shelf. I will fight destiny and win. So he says. I'm the one who has to help him. We have to make Hero of Justice Ota fight back and look cool doing it. Even though I think he's a wanker. Alright. I assume it's the uh, forklift now, yeah? A wooden box. We're nearly out of time. A forklift. 30 seconds. Let's try sorty on it now. Just to see if it works before we run out of time. All systems green. Synchronization rate, 6%. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift, sorty! Hey, forklift! Fork over that weapon now! Alright, we're not going to finish, but uh, at least we know what to do to get to the last area. I... I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? We have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up. Alright, let's retry. We're going to get right back to the very, 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 very start. Can we go back to the very start? I don't want any checkpoints. Let's just wait until our time runs out then. You're out of time. Date, our broadcast is coming to an end. Yeah. Our broadcast? What will happen to our hero? Tune in next week to find out. There is no next week. I need Damn to start it. from the very beginning. Otherwise time is wasted. We spent way too long farting around on the first lock. Restart. Correct. Alright. No mistakes. But lots of skipping. Curse you po Yes, yes. Man, this had a lot of intro compared to some of the others. Oh look, it's already got the tech on it. Does that mean that I already did it right last slick. time? Or that it needed to be done for it to work? Punch. This is for Date. This is There you go, first lock is done. It only took a hundred seconds, which is ages, but you know. A plated It might be ages, but it's a lot faster than we did last time. We'll have to remember not to take that path by accident next time. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I've used two minutes and we're two locks done. A fork? We'll have a lot of time to do the last lock. Sorty. What? Sorty? This is Ota's world, right? Why can't I skip this one? dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Lousy Ota. Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual has been destroyed. Systems green. Synchronization rate, 6%. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift. Sorty! I still wish it had transformed into a giant robot. Hey, forklift! Fork over that weapon now! Alright. Now we can restart from here with loads of time spare. Uh. 
I, if if we fuck it up I again. I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? We have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up. How? You have three minutes, Dante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand Ota up, bitch. Is still down. Um, it doesn't say how much time it's gonna take. Cheer? I don't know how much time it's gonna take. What do you Cheer. Ota will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he. See, we're doing a ridiculous uh, over-the-top thing. Me whispered. That's right. I can't run away now. I can't sacrifice Tessa. That works. That's surprisingly effective. Epa. Hi. So was it Mayumi herself who stabbed Oda? That's what it looks like. Should be the right size for that polar bear costume. She's holding her own knife that Oda gave her. And it's a very unusual looking knife. Oh, we didn't get the secret thing again. Oh well. We have to come back and do this one again anyway. Well, that's that. Thanks for the info, Oda. I'll take that as an admission that your mother did it. <laughs> Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Seriously, dude? Come on. So sorry, Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. I did not. <laughs> temper, temper. Whatever. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask you. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Uh, w what are you talking about? Was she there? Why would she be? That happened at 3 a.m. She followed she you. She was at home asleep. Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there, but it makes it likely. The evidence is... Okay, we're not going to do this right now because we are out of time for this episode, but we'll do our investigation-y, interrogation-y thing. One of my favorite parts, actually, of the game. We can do that next time. Until then, it begins. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.